This is Western Mass News. UMass Amherst leader in the spotlight at a faculty senate meeting held just hours ago. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 5 on this Tuesday. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnavali. Our cameras captured Chancellor Javier, Javier Reyes responding to questions and concerns from people impacted on campus after last Tuesday's pro-Palestinian encampment led to the arrest of over 130 protesters. And Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days joining us now live from campus. And Wesley, we're getting an idea of the Chancellor's point of view from that night. Yeah, we are. We should mention that 23 of those protesters were actually in court earlier today facing a judge on charges and counts connected to this incident on last Tuesday. And you're absolutely right, Chris and Abby. It's a debrief of demonstrations from an official's outlook. Chancellor Javier Reyes, as you just mentioned, was on hand for that faculty Senate meeting. And no surprise here, my friends, it was a full house full of students and faculty members and some former protesters eager to hear from administrators about what happened last week. Now, those protesters were pushing for the state's largest public university to this disclose and divest from military organizations tied to the campus and the crisis in Gaza. Now, Javier Reyes outlined the events of the night from the early afternoon failed negotiations between protesters and officials to the moment police descended upon that barricaded encampment on the student union lawn. Protesters were told the tents and barricades are against the university's code of conduct and land use policies. Now, there was also a chance during that Senate meeting for members of this campus to have their voices heard. There were several questions, including so many on what, why, why were the police, local, campus, and state called to the encampment? Chancellor Javier Reyes tells us why. I can not legitimately say that I was doing everything I could do for the safety of our community with a fortified encampment built in the center of our campus, at least one altercation being reported, a substantial crowd of individuals that were not recognized as members of our campus, our demonstration response team reporting that they could not communicate with their crowd because of the screaming of... Now, that Senate meeting wasn't without its outbursts, which are against faculty Senate protocol. A quite contagious cough took over the room at certain remarks by officials, including Reyes, who's already had several votes of no confidence brought by organizations on his campus. Today's outburst bled out of the meeting and outside of the auditorium. We captured this video that you're looking at right now of pro-Palestinian protesters just steps away from the chancellor's office with a tent. That's against land use policy. We spoke with one faculty member, a part of the negotiation on that Tuesday, who ended up being arrested early on. Here's what he had to say about the chancellor's remarks. Well, the chancellor and his administrative team spent most of the faculty senate meeting today defending their actions, uh, and I saw no sign of remorse. It was truly appalling to, to witness. Yeah. So in our next hour, Abby and Chris, you'll hear from more UMass faculty members. And we're going to talk specifically with a faculty Senate member who was also a mom of someone on this campus who was at that encampment. You don't want to miss what she had to say to all of those administrators. That's coming up tonight at 6. Plus, you'll hear more from Chancellor Javier Reyes about a solution that could bring a divided campus together ahead of commencement this weekend. Reporting live in Amherst, Wesley Days, Western Mass News.